Hello everybody. Today I am going to prove formula for sin c plus sin d, sin c minus sin d, and then cos c plus cos d, and cos c minus cos d formula. So we know that sin a plus b equal to sin a cos b plus cos a sin e, uh, sin b. You have to know first these two formulae. And then sin a minus b equals to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. So from uh, these two equations, uh, we try for sin c and sin d formula. You can see there are a and b variables, but it has been changed to here c. So what uh, what is the idea is that uh, we can suppose or let we have a plus b, a plus b equals to c, you can say 1, and then we have another term as a minus b, so you can say a minus b equals to d and 2, and after that we write a in terms of c plus uh, c and d, and also b in term of uh, c and d, so that we will have term uh, of C associated with A and B. So here you can say this is 1 and this is 2 like this. So here add, adding equations 1 and 2. Let's see what happens. Here A plus B and equals to C and this is A minus B equals to D. So if you are adding there is no sign change no algebraic sign change and this is plus b and this is minus b they got cancelled out a plus a is 2a equals to c and then as we are adding so this is c plus d and therefore uh, we have a equals to c plus d by 2 and similarly by subtraction so next time we subtract so subtracting 1 and 2 that means you subtract equation 2 from 1 in that case you can see here again a plus b equals to c and then we have a minus b equals to we have supposed d so in that case as we are subtracting so this is uh, there will be algebraic sign changed so this is plus a, then it will be minus over here, it is minus sign, so we have to write here positive sign, it is nothing then, it is positive sign, so we have to write here minus sign. And in this case, you can see that a minus a, they got cancelled out, but this b is now positive b, so both the b's are positive, so twice, uh, we have two b's, therefore that means it is two times of b, equals to, as you are subtracting, so we write here c minus d, and therefore we have b equals to c minus d by 2. So in this case, by supposing a plus b equal to c and a minus b equals to d, we found the term of a in, term of, in terms of c and d. And just now we have seen a equals to c plus d by 2 and b we have converted in terms of c and d like c minus d by 2 and now again here adding equations 1 and 2 now then in that case we have sin a plus b plus another equation from left side is sin a minus b and equals to we replace the formula for sin a plus b and then sin a minus b. In that case, it is going to be sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Alright, so uh, this term is for sin a plus b. And next we have, as we are adding them, so it is plus sin over here. So again we have now sin a minus b from here from 2 is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. So it is sin a cos b minus sin 
and then we have cos a sin b. It is cos a sin of b. All right. Now we compare uh, the terms. We can see here cos a sin b in plus, and here cos a sin b in negative sign. So positive and negative of the same term will be cancelled out. So these two terms are cancelled out now. So you are left with here sin a cos b and again we have sin a cos b so we have two times of sin a cos b and then yes and now we replace the value of a in terms of c and t so from left side in place of a plus b that we are supposed a plus b as c and a minus b as d so in place of sin a plus b we can say therefore sin a plus B means we have uh, sin uh, C and then plus sine of we have here another term as A minus B and we have support this as D so we will write here D and then 2 sin and A you can have here A we had got as C plus D by 2 so this is C plus D by 2 and then another term is Yes, another term is here. Yes, A and then this is B. So in place of B, what we have got? C minus D by 2. So it is uh, cos. Alright. So this is cos. In place of B, we have C minus D by 2. And hence, we have proved one of the formula. Sin C plus sin D equal to sin C plus D by 2. And uh, times cos C minus D by 2. Two. Okay, next we are interested to find sin C minus D formula. So instead of adding these two, you have to subtract. Okay, so you can write here subtract or subtracting equations one and two. Then you replace this plus sign by minus sign over here. In that case, uh, only the term you have to cancel is here. This is minus and then you close in the bracket. When you open these brackets, then it is sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. And then we have minus and when you open the bracket, so it is minus sine A cos B. And this, this is minus time minus is or negative sine times negative sine is positive sine. So this is plus cos a times sin b all right so you can see here the positive and negative terms and that contains the same sort of term we have here minus sin a cos b and it is plus cos a sin b okay so they got cancelled out and we have we are left with cos a sin b and cos a sin b it is two times here so it is two times of cos a sin b and now replace the values of a in terms of d so a is c plus d by 2 and then c plus d by 2 and then sin b sin b s you can see here c minus d by 2 c minus d by 2 and to the left side we have sin a plus b means we are supposed that as c so it is sin c and then we have sine A minus B. We have supposed D. So we write here sine of D. So this way we can see that sine C plus sine D equals to 2 cos C plus D by 2 times sine C minus D by 2. In the same way, we will now uh, see the formula for cos c and cos cos c plus cos d let's see how it is so we have already seen that we suppose a plus b equal to c and a minus b equal to d then we have a equals to c plus d by 2 and b equals to c minus d by 2 so let's see here we'll uh, we'll have the same strategy to find uh, cos c plus d formula as well as cos c minus d uh, cos c minus cos d formula all right like we did for sin c and sine the formula. So here now again here you can see here that adding 
1 and 2. So we have, it is cos A plus B, 1, and then from left side, this is cos A minus B, and cos A plus B, you know that this is cos A, cos B, minus sin A, sin B, and then another equation, uh, we have cos A minus B equals to plus cos A, cos B, and then plus sin A, sin B, alright? Now let's see the, if the like term are there in the opposite sign, then we can cancel them out. So it is sin A, sin B in the negative sign, and this is in the positive sign. So they got cancelled out. So we are left with here, this is cos A, cos B, and this is also cos A, cos B. So there are two times of cos A, cos B. It is cos A plus B that we are supposed cos A plus B as C. So therefore you can write here, in place of cos A plus B, that is C, and then plus cos A minus B. So, in place of A minus B, uh, we have D. So, we write here, in place of cos A minus B as cos D. Equals to, you can see here, 2 cos A cos B. So, 2 cos A means we have C plus D by 2. And then, times we have uh, cos B. So, this is cos and in place of B, we write here C minus D by 2. So, in this way, we proved the formula for cos C plus cos D equals to 2 cos C plus D by 2 times cos C minus D by 2. So, by adding them, uh, we had a previous formula for cos C plus D. Now, we subtract 1 and 2, then we have cos A plus B equal to, you know that, you just replace uh, the value for, the terms for cos A plus B and cos A minus B from equations 1 and 2 and we have like this. Now let's go further, it is cos A cos B minus sin A sin B and then we have minus and you can see it is whenever there is negative sign, you put the bracket and when you open the bracket, then what happens, sign will be changed. So it is negative times positive cos. If there is nothing, that means this is the positive term. So it is cos A cos B. And then when you open the bracket, so negative sign times positive sign will be negative. So it is minus sin A sin B. All right. And see that cos A cos B negative sign and cos A cos B positive sign. They are the same term in the opposite sense, so we cancel them out. And then we have two negative signs, sin A, sin B and sin A, sin B again. So we have two times of negative sin A, sin B. So it is negative two times of sin A, sin B. Okay. And then it is negative two times of sin. In place of A, you can write C plus d by 2 and in place of b you can write c minus d by 2 and towards the left you can see here therefore cos a plus b means we have c and then it is minus sign and then cos a minus b equals to d so therefore we see that cos c minus cos d equals to negative sign we have to remember here for cos c minus cos d there is negative sign and then 2 times sin c plus d by 2 sin c minus d by 2 and this is also possible that uh, this is negative 2 sin c plus d by 2 and then what happens here if you would uh, like to write everything in the positive sense then you take negative sign common so it is sin of you take minus sign of you take negative sign common, then you will have here inside it is C, no, uh, minus C and then plus D by 2. Because you are taking negative sign common, so plus sign will become negative and the negative sign will become positive. Okay, now as we are 
taking negative sign common here from here. So we have negative sign here and you know that sine of minus theta equals to minus sine theta. Yes, minus sine theta, you know that. So here in place of theta, there is minus C plus D by 2. All right. So as this is sine negative of this angle, so this will be negative sine of this angle and negative sine and this negative sine they make positive so therefore finally we will have it is 2 times of sine c plus d by 2 and then it is sine now you can write in this order first d and then minus c by 2 and this way finally we have cos c minus cos d equals to 2 times of sine c plus d by 2 times sine d minus c by 2 so at this point also you have to remember in all the cases we have in the, you have got the formula result in the order of c and then d but here only in this case sine c minus cos c minus cos d we have this order changed okay guys i am sure uh, this sort of form by learning this sort of uh, formula uh, you will be able to solve the problems in the trigonometry those relate this sort of formula like sine c plus sine d sine c minus sine d cos c plus cos uh, cos d and then cos c minus cos d formula okay this is all for now and thank you so much for watching Begin.